Hello guys, Vertigo HD here. Um, actually having to check this time if I'm recording, because I did check the first time and it didn't record for some bizarre reason, even though it said it was. Um, so I'm not too pleased with that. I spent about tw well, 15 minutes and I realised I wasn't... I should probably have checked a bit quicker in, but hey-ho. Just a quick recap of what we covered quickly was the fact that we've made quite a bit of progress. Um, we're going to lose these two guys again in a second. I think we've already lost the... Yep, see the camp's gone. Because uh, of the distance we travel. Um, the Gally Mimus enclosure is under complete renovation at the moment. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of... Whoa, he got big. It's like the rock. He just got big quickly and suddenly. Um, yeah. Uh, I'd also like to welcome you guys to Fossil Fridays, where I will be uploading two videos related to dinosaurs and dinosaur-related games uh, on a Friday. Um, something I'm really looking forward to doing. Obviously... Um, I'll still be uploading these games within the week, but it just means on Fridays there'll be two videos. Um, yeah, nothing good. Um, Fridays, of course, uh, today, uh, well, uh, today it will be going up with this, and if I can get it to record Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, something I've wanted to play since I played it on my PC like years ago and lost the game, unfortunately. However, I've reacquired it, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, to summarise some changes we've done in this series so far, we've got the arc started, the house hasn't been renovated yet, that's a later project. Um, we know what we're doing with this at the moment. I'd also like to show you guys the soon-to-be large medium herbivore, well, medium, uh, herbivore enclosure. As you can see, the windows is a bit more windows, the window is th more 3D than that of the other ones, and to me looks a lot more you know, enjoyable to look at. And I feel that will be the new bar to be set. Um, every other one will be similar. Uh, what will take a very long time, probably up to 10 episodes, maybe more, will be the linking of that to over there with a semi large semicircle of just what can be a walkway above ground, um, water and below will be glass. So we can see our uh, Mosasaurus and the Pleurodon, which will be placed in there. Um, I'm trying to get the Mob Maker. I'll be speaking to the Mob Maker as much as I can, just try and get Megalodon in. I know it's not a dinosaur, I know it's not an ancient marine reptile, but everyone loves the Megalodon. Um, yeah, and then we'll have a bit of glass down underground so we can see through to that part. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Not pardon me, but you know what I mean. Um, excuse the burp, I'm coughing. I'm still not exactly well, so sorry if I sound grainy, you guys. I just want to make sure that I can get something out to you. Um, and yeah, we'll go down and have a look at that enclosure soon. I um, hollowed a bit more out while I was recording, but unfortunately, that's no longer there. I'm just going to check if I'm still recording still. Yep, that's good. Otherwise, I'd not be pleased. Anyway, we're going out to get some more dirt because we didn't have enough. I got quite a few leaves and stuff from over there, so I've got um, all the... What do you call it I require? Oh, let's go have a look at our um, the Pluridon. Okay. I've got all the uh, items I require for making the enclosure, bar a few feeders, something to feed them with, and a few tree-based things. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get a bit too close to my liking. Is that the Mosasaurus or is that the Lepl I think that's the Mosa. Can't tell. I don't want to get too close because of what happened last time. I think it's the Mosa, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm, I think it's the Pleurodon. I think the only way to find out is to go and have a look up on the other one. I think it's the Leo Pleurodon. I'll probably get corrected. No, that's the Mosasaur. Yeah, let's avoid that. Good to see they're still floating about. It's nice to see them. To see them nice, of course. Sorry, guys, I'm just going to get a quick drink. Got milk. Um, ooh. Hello. Another completely wacky sort of island. Something I like about this archipelago, um, archipelago, um, world I was born in is that there's loads of nice little uh, islands that I can use and run over to and renovate and take advantage of. I think I'm gonna need. Oh yes. 
It's good that there's animals on here because I'm going to need them at some point. Don't know how I'm going to get them over there. I'm probably going to use wheat and just slowly swim. But I do need them for becoming the parents of my animals. In fact, let's get some. Oh, bit of lag there. Is there a way to get some seeds? Ooh, bit of frame rate drop, but I'm assuming that's because this is a new chunk. Or a chunk I haven't visited in a while. Whereabouts? No, poo. Do I have any bones on me? I do have bone meal though. There we go. This is more how to get plants and seeds and flowers a lot quicker. There we go, I only need the one. Although I don't know why I'm doing that because I need... Oh, that was pointless. Anyway, I best just, I'm just here to get a lot of mud for um, the enclosure. Um, someone actually asked me off um, YouTube. Like, not off YouTube, as in someone from YouTube, but as in off camera asked me what I was going to do once the arc was finished. And that's an easy one. I'll be expanding the overworld, so... Season 1 is the arc, um, so once the arc's finished and I'm satisfied with it, we'll end it on a good note. Um, whereas Season 2 will begin with me exploring the archipelago and finding areas which I think would be deemed a good island for a certain dinosaur. I would then customise that island far beyond what I customise it in the arc, and just have it like a little habitat for it. Alternatively, I was also thinking about putting in... Um, Certain continents, I know, I think uh, YouTube has already done that, I think I've seen that, but I think I'd do it to the extent that it'd be shaped like the continent and it'd be a bit more fun for me just to customise, just so that it was more reflective of the dinosaurs that are held there, but I don't know about that because I don't want to seem like too much of a proper cat. Um, I've, alternatively, I was going to do it in terms of periods, so the Cretaceous period, the Triassic, Jurassic, and of course the Ice Age, so we can see our Smilodon and uh, mammoth. It's mammoth, not mastodon, isn't it? I don't know. I'm not doing this in any particular order or pattern. I'm just going for any dirt that's near me. Uh, yeah. So, hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, please drop um, a comment. Why? I'd really like to hear it. Um, also, if you guys would like to help me out a bit, just please uh, refer me to a friend. Just say, look. I like this guy, or this guy's got a video I like, and just, you know, if everyone got one subscriber towards me from their friend, and then they got one, it just goes so much quicker, it'd be so much more enjoyable for me to do, I'm not only saying I don't enjoy doing it now, because I absolutely do, um, and if you guys could just spread the word, I'd absolutely love it, um, if there's anything you'd like to see in this series, please do tell me, um, I will do my best to ensure that it's done, um, I'm... I'm not going to bite your finger off like the dinosaurs will, um, just tell me what you want and I can give it to you, or try to. How much dirt is that? I think it's fair enough, let's get a bit more though. Um, also if you don't like anything in the video or you dislike the video, can you tell me why? And I will do my best to make sure that you can enjoy it in the future. Ooh, is he coming up for? He's close to that island, he's got to be high, or in shallow water, let's go have a look. Um, but yeah, I think the Lepluridons, Leopluridons, right now you're nice, so I'm going to call him Lippy. Lippy Leopluridon, or Lea, the Lippy Leopluridon, the Lippy Leopluridon. Let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, no, that's, that's the most, I can't tell. I'm going to be hounded so much for not being able to tell. I can't go swimming with it. Oh, do I have my dinopedia? I do. Okay, guys. I do this in the name of science. But you cannot... No, that's definitely a Pluridon. No, I'm 100% now. Oh, we can see it. Hunt. I think. 
I don't think the Leoplurodon attacks boats like the Mosasaur does. That being said, I don't like the idea of it being underneath me. Oh, look at it. Such a majestic creature. Ah, <sighs> I do love this series sometimes. I really do. I love the dinosaurs. Admittedly, I'm not a great fan of how it's just spinning on the spot, but... Uh... Anyone else hear that, or was that just me? Maybe it was just its tummy growling. I don't think it can attack me, can it? Well, we'll test that theory. No. I'm curious, does the most saw was it my own imagination the first time? I think I've read somewhere that they do attack it, so I might be... No, I am right, I'm pretty sure they attack. Sorry, this is stupid. Okay. Okay. That was awful. He came up quite high. So I'm just going to go back this way, just the left of him. Look. Look at the size of him. He is getting big. No, let's, I want to be able to see him. Stupid boat. He's getting big. I, I think they actually changed the model to make him big and the Leoplorodon smaller, which I'm okay with because they both look gorgeous model wise and it's just oh anyway we should probably get back and start working on the uh, enclosure it's gonna be quite jungly and uh, like a I don't know how to describe it but we do need vines which means I'll have to go find vines at some point you can see the Gallimimus model from here actually The albino Gallimimus, aka the Gallivanting Gallimimus. And nailed it. Let's say Parallel Park. It's not actually, it's not even a Parallel Park. So what sort of time are we racking up? 12 minutes, yeah, we've got plenty of time. If you can't tell it's on Peaceful, I put it on Peaceful because... Um, I couldn't figure out the grief, um, turn off the uh, mob grief, and I didn't want that. I said, look, I'm thinking we're going to change this to something else soon. Uh, no idea what. We'll have a look soon. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get back to, um, this enclosure. This could take some time. Unfortunately, I don't have some sort of speed up button or anything like that, so if you're gonna want to skip past this, please do. In the meantime, I'll probably just, um, what was that? Nothing fantastic. Can we see anything? No. The Leopluridon's just past that island. It'd be nice to be able to see it. Quite pleased with the Mosasaur and how it's gotten bigger. just mining in Minecraft it always has been hmm I don't know how to get mossy cobble so um mossy um stone brick sorry because um, I kind of think it's kind of a necessary thing for what I had in mind for my designs well my throat's getting a bit worse <coughs> sorry about that guys um, so what I'm thinking is, I might give it to myself, but at the sacrifice expense of normal stone brick. I'll see if there's a legit way to get it first before I consider that, but I thought I'd forewarn you guys.
My god, this is gonna take a while. Ow. Oh, poo, I need... I'd have liked to have had grass. Saying that. Um, there's gonna be quite a few bodies of water in this thing. Uh, probably two to, th two to four, I don't know yet. I'll work on the design. Um, be quite a few foresty things, so a few trees. Obviously not actual trees, because I don't think they'll be able to fit. Oh, look over there. Seeing this, it's like weird. Texture offset, the looks of it. Er, there we go. Anyway, guys, we've got quite a few things coming up with uh, the channel, as I keep, 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 keep telling you guys. Uh, but just keep it in tune, keep tuned. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It just helps a lot, and it means you don't get miss anything. Because I wouldn't let you miss something, because you're not that lucky. Mm. Torches, there we go. No oh, poo. There we go. All right, let's get this done. Should probably get that iron at some point, but nah, can't go at the moment. <sighs> oh, sorry guys. Oh, this is what I mean that the texture keeps offsetting itself. I think I know what it is. Yeah, it is not what I think it is. What I think the case to be is that um, the illumination enchant from the artifacts mod, unique artifacts, creates um, a torch, I think, about three blocks ahead of you. So, as you can see. Um, it creates an invisible torch, which can't be seen. So you try to place something down, but you can't because the torch is there. Which, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the mod, but it's a bit of pain in the ass when that happens. I have a feeling I didn't get nowhere near enough dirt. Um, we'll soon find out. Nope. I'm glad that Mr. Gallo and Gally Mimus is still okay. Um Cool Cola Camp and Naughty Nautilus have gone by the sound of it. Uh, I think it might be a permanent thing unless I can find out how to put a name tag on them. See when it does that. As you can see, look, that's where the light seems to em emanate from. So if I can try and find the. Yeah, there we go, look. Seems to be a glitch for the mod, but. 
I think the best way to avoid it is just to make sure you've not got anything with illumination on it. Regardless, the fact it's a really, really good, useful thing. My recommendation to the mod maker would be rather than place it, have the invisible thing wherever it is. Why not place it above by one? Not supposed to like elevated so it to be here rather than there. Probably avoid a little more conflict that this causes. Oh, no, we're not going to have enough. But it's only by a little bit, unfortunately. Okay, 14. There we go, look. So close yet so far. Nah, I still can't see it. Oh, could we? No. It's a squid. A little bit more dirt and we're done. Oh, sorry about the heavy breathing and coughing, guys. As I said so many times now, I'm still not exactly 100% better. I'm getting there. When I do, it'll be a little bit more noticeable. That should be, no, it won't be enough. There's no point taking the risk. Should be plenty, however. There we go. So, so far today, we've um, met Lippy Lepluridon, who has obviously growled at us. I don't know if he came closer. Uh, Mosasaurus obviously has a little bit of a hate for us. Probably because we abandoned it as a child. That does not like it when we come close. At all. Oh, I would have had enough the first time. Oh well. Okay, so. I'm sort of. Oh, I'm just trying to think of the design I was going for. The walls themselves will be like wooden almost. Like it would be quite a. Go with the rest of the look. Um, do I have any logs on me? Yeah. Sort of Put one say over here. There we go. I don't know if it'll work, unfortunately. Sometimes they disappear. There we go. Basic, but works. No, I don't know that. Poo. Um, there we go. I want the fact it's a lower cut tree, it looks a bit like a bush in a way because. Uh, they wouldn't be able to reach high, obviously, the Ankle or the Triceratops. I just don't think I have a tri Ankle. Whoa, what happened to the FOV? Why do I feel like shorter? I don't know. Um, the Angliosaurus, obviously, I don't have any DNA of it yet, I don't think. I need to do a bit of a mining fest in the dig sites. nest going on back here. Not going to be usable obviously by the dinosaurs we have but it's just a nice little idea. Uh, I 
that will be worked on later on. I'll show you what I mean, what I'm going to do with that later. So far, so good. We've got a lot of work to do with this. I've somehow got to get grass down here. I'm thinking of just linking it up, say, through here, down to here. We'll do that off camera because that's going to take a lot of work. Sort of. Okay, we're pushing the time limit now. Um, whoosh, what can we do? I was thinking we're going to do something. I can't remember now. Ah, I remember. Hmm. Well, let's see, what can we get in there now? Can't really put it in there. So, but we will put the Triceratops in next time when it's ready. As for today, I believe the episode will be called the Lippy Lepluridon because, well, it was Lippy, it growled at us, the little bastard. Pardon my French. Remember, guys, my shit is your shit. Well, me casa is your two casa. I think that's Spanish for my shit. No, it's not. It's me, Mierda. Obviously, I know that, but just trying to play that off. Um, if you've liked the video, guys, please drop a like. If you uh, haven't already, please subscribe just so that you can follow my adventures. Sorry this episode's been a bit of a grainy one. As I said, it's um, a bit more progress has been made, but sooner or later we'll be able to get to the good stuff with all the dinosaurs running about and having a bit more fun. If there's anything you'd like to watch in this series or anything that I see in the series, please tell me. If you don't like the video or you've disliked the series so far, please tell me why and I'll change or attempt to change so that I can cater to you guys' needs. If there's anything you'd like to say down below, supportful or negative or criti um, critical, please do. Anyway, my scallywags, I hope you have a good day.